Hello everybody, uh, there will be no music uh, simply because uh, uh, today I want to talk about something very particular. Um, there was a bunch of people ask me about DOI I feel lost, why there is always this uh, going up, going down, why I'm focused on my 5D and then go to my 3D, uh, what's the problem with all this I feel lost. Um, why did my twin flame feel stuck on uh, certain parts of the three-dimensional world? And uh, there was a simple questions that all came in to kind of like try to summarize it with this video. It's all about one thing, uh, lost between the dimensions. I post the dimensions quite so many times. And I see on the post uh, there is like only like a four or five people likes it, and many of them don't even read it. Okay, so if we try to give you an information, if somebody spends so much time to give you an information, and you don't find the time to read it, uh, then mean that uh, your way of perceptions of information it's not about reading. Okay, it's not about reading. Your level of perception is listening or watching videos. It's more easier, more lazier, but more faster way of accepting information. So what's going to happen tonight is uh, I'm going to read it uh, some portion of uh, <coughs> of this uh, post uh, about the dimensions. Uh, simply because uh, some of you need to get this right here of what's going on. Uh, basically, we are, I mentioned this before, we are going between the three dimensions. Those are the third, fourth, and the fifth. And I will reading what they are directly from uh, uh, bibliotecapleiades.net. Uh, I will post the link there. Uh, it's a very good uh, source of information uh, when you are waking and when you moving up and when you go shift and when you get the things going on in high level then you understand so <coughs> to begin uh, of the part why why I want to tell you all this why would you want to listen all this video of me okay if you want to spend your time listening to my video you need to know why why you want to listen to this video uh first of all is that uh, there is some information you 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 seeking somehow and that information resonates with you uh there is a information that will not resonate with you in your higher self okay will resonate with the information your higher self will lead you to the information that you need Basically, this is what the soul does. The soul looks like, hey, here, oh, look, that information, watch it, listen to it. Or go look for this, go get this, go get into this. And this is uh, one of those videos that uh, probably your higher self will be, go listen to it. Simply because there's going to be some a lot of good information on it. So to the begin um, of it, uh, that uh, part of lost... Uh, feeling lost is because when you become awake and you shift and when you shift you switch between the third dimensions to the fourth dimension go up higher and uh, or you shift between the fourth and the fifth but let's say like for picture let's imagine that you are in uh, fifth dimension now what happening is all of a sudden you're missing things that the world down in the third dimension and all of a sudden you go down but you still have the 5d vibrations <coughs> inside of you so now you feel lost because uh, you are in a three-dimensional stuckiness you stuck to the 3d and you have 5d vibrations here you don't know where you are what's going on with you so we can't hang in all to the three-dimensional stuff in a living five-dimensional world so basically it does not work that way so here it is descriptions of the three-dimensional world okay 
Uh, that the material world is the dominant mode in which humanity and other species live and operate. Uh, the motivating uh, or driving forces in the world is called instincts. You basically, on your uh, instinct of protections, I will not go read the whole uh, thing, but for their survival, sexual, for their survival, sexual hierarchy hierarchical or territorial instincts acting on these instructions made a statement to the universe about is the what is the real to the actor okay so here it is um, in the dna the most of the the physical body those physical body pictures or reality may apply to so here it is i want you to listen to this i am mortal i need mate I need personal power to rule others. I need to own certain things. I need another person to make me happy. I need control of my space. The mental body to generate pictures of reality. I must figure all out. I need to be right. It is just okay to lie if you have a good enough reason. I'm better than they are. So you're comparing yourself. She or he does, does uh, say this and he or she then will say that. You try to pre-programming people. Okay? And uh, the other part of this is that... Um, uh, on that part, uh, when you read the article a little bit more down there, you will see that uh, uh, you you are stuck on those uh, base of thoughts. Um, you also be stuck on a planning sexual strategies how you want to live your world, uh, sexual life. Um, there is a uh, um, being sarcastic being critical, physically or verbally attacking someone, proving you're right, or proving that the others are wrong, uh, defending or claiming your space. You also say that I am hard worker, smart, partners, smart person, business person, I'm a parent, I'm awesome, I'm responsible, I'm a student, teacher, clever, funny, name it well you actually give us a statement for yourself but when you go down up in the, in the dimensions that you will see that this will change and the reason i'm telling you this is because this is how the three-dimensional normal human being operates on the base of this i am living in material world everything else doesn't exist and that is the part of uh, the people, they don't get it, that uh, when something extra happens out of this three-dimensional world, out of this picture, um, for them, that's, the world doesn't exist. Okay? Uh, for them, the world is... Okay, you see that map? That map is on the wall. But there is a difference between the map is on the wall and the reality, the way... The earth looks like at that ball out in space. So, for a lot of you, that is the world right there. That piece of paper on the wall. Not the actual planet that it's out there in the space. And that's why the people a long time ago, they believed that uh, the earth is flat. We are not in the space. Guess what? It was all wrong. So, uh, depends on our beliefs and everything. When you awaken as a soul, you learn that there is a, something else going on. Because right now, there is this extraordinary uh, situation. Somehow, you got to awaken. You might be got to awaken from someone, which is, that could be a soulmate or a twin flame or a divine partner. Someone who comes in and touches your buttons and all of a sudden, you get on wake up. And you start understanding that there is something else out there. There is something really 
oh that just caught it um, killing me when I start talking so much and I'm talking about the magical world right now all of a sudden you are in the magical world you understand there's something else you can do you have this magical part of Lux and here's the magical world what it presents um, you actually moving from the material world into the magical world and when you are living in the magical world I'm reading it this from the website you are taking a stand for realities in the parameters of uh, four dimensions the link between the third dimension the physical body and the fourth dimension is the emotional body the emotional body studies the astral plane and the mental body does it best to interpret the information that it received with the limitations on its linear based functional ability what follows are some principles they're uh, innate in the fourth dimensions for instance let's say you're standing in a line in a grocery store and you've been uh, to make a, a psychic contact with others you now can say I'm living in a magical world when you find yourself engaged in any of the following activities try to use or get luck being superstitious have a sexual fantasies physically attacking someone physically defend someone fighting for God the light and any other good causes I'm sorry good is like this or bad causes you have to understand there is no good or bad I uh, will mention up here it's the good is that uh, you learning in the proper way for something and we don't learn the proper way you learning to the bad way and then you get the experience to understand what the good way was and uh, try phys physically um, trying to psychically manipulate other beings or situation I was talking about uh, this in uh, 5d it's uh, about the twin flames that a lot of the twin flames chasing their twin on the 5d you psychically trying to tell your twin what to do you guilty of that we all are and that's how you learn and this is a part of the four dimensions that uh, you, uh, you're talking about um astral traveling some of you experience this working out your karma now this is a good part of the four dimensions in there because you have things to do with other people all of a sudden you meet them you have something to do to them you done it once you done it boom it's like everything is you feel like that part has been done um trying to be worthy in the eye of a god a goddess trying to be the right way to serve uh, using a magic uh, black or white again no good no 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 bad because um, let's say like for instance uh, uh, for you maybe uh, the good part is when you interfere between a people they have conflict and use like you know what you guys had a lot of opportunities to fix this you guys should be separate now if you think that you are right uh, guess what you did not allow those people to fix their problem so basically you are wrong simply because the situation is not between you and those two people the situation is between those two people so here it is uh, you can look at it as a black or you can look at it as a white that is independent of your point of view so let's say um, and what about uh, the identities of uh, the four dimension is it's I'm a magician I'm a druid I'm a sorcerer I'm a psychic healer I'm a warrior of light I'm a devil demon worshiper I'm a religious person um, there are many unusual powers uh, like uh, um, many being feel liberated um, there is also uh, for those who need to be in control you feel like you should be able to control others uh, and know how it really is it's also be connected a lot to the, the three-dimensional part of still inside of you 
of I need to control, I need to tell, I need to, uh, um, I need to be guiding, I need to all that part. And you will see what the difference is going to be between the fourth and the fifth dimensions, specifically about those parts. Okay, because see the, five, the fifth dimension is talking about mostly about oneness. You're understanding that uh, we are all one, we are all uh, came from one place, and we are all beginning uh, on the, the plane of light. And uh, <coughs> uh, for, uh, for me to explain this uh, fifth uh, dimension, it's the miracle world. Uh, it's actually very, you understand, you have to be seeing the light. What I'm seeing, uh, explain the seeing the light. The seeing the light is when you see the light from another soul inside of you. It's like uh, you get the memory of uh, the Big Bang uh, comes out. That's how that light is. And you will feel the vibrations of that Big Bang uh, memory inside of you. And uh, once you feel this light, you become uh, like a light body. Your body gets in full with light and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of love. So um, here is some of the stuff I'm going to read you for the fifth dimensions. Uh, I will post this, uh, this uh, description of the dimensions under the video. So you can go ahead. I advise you read it because some of the parts that you need is going to be there. Um, for most religions, the fifth dimension is the highest realm uh, a soul can reach. Spirituality starting from the beginning is the last stop downward and dimensional ladder before we enter the realms of uh, limitations. We incarnate here as Andronius stellar being. Since we live in the stars, we have a luminous light body. These internal forms have no need for pain, the warning signals that physical bodies provide. Therefore, there is no physical suffering. Here we do suffer from any form of separation because we constantly experience the oneness of Mother, Father, Creator. We based, <coughs> we based our actions entirely on love, never fear. Sound familiar? Okay. Uh, this is because fear does not exist at this level. We are unstoppable and living miracles life. If you have a fear of death, or something's wrong with you. Immortality is an uh, experiential given. You understand what that means. And when you say to someone, well, I don't care if you're going to die now, they can probably look at you strange simply because they don't understand and they don't accept this part because it's so hard to be on this level of the dimensions uh, on it. Many times in near death experience, a person would travel through a long tunnel. Dark night of the soul. If you haven't experienced that one, you know what I'm talking about. The tunnel travels through darkness. The fourth dimension is sent in a bright opening of gold or white light. The fifth dimension. And this is the bird canal in the soul. The doorway of heaven. This is the time what's actually happened is that whatever you did as a three-dimensional human being all of a sudden has been... Vacuum it out like a uh, big vacuum, uh, like the vacuum you walk in with your carpet on it, and um, everything that you've been done in the past kind of like <sniffs> suck that out. And you wake up in the morning, and guess what? You feel like a brand new baby, and uh, you find the fifth dimension. You feel so much light that the people they see you they know about this light. And when it happened that to me, when I back to work, uh, the guy who was in the shift, he was like, I don't know, dear, what's wrong with you? You are so, I don't know, light. And here we go. You ask for it, they say it. See, if they say it, it's true. If you say it, could not be. But if they say it, they see it, then it is. So um, what happened is we also here, I'm going to continue reading the article, it's we travel by application of divine will. We need not to die to have this experience. Ah, we just have to go through a dark night of the soul to get clear so we can figure it out. Uh -huh. The shortest distance between two points is not the straight line or curved line. 
In the fifth dimension, one simply duplicates herself to her destinations, we travel by moving through a, a doorway of a center of a star. We do not fly at this movement, it is similar to teleportation. Flight is only a viable means of transportation on the third and the fourth dimension. Now, what I mean by that part? Simply, it's like picture yourself, you hook up to the internet, but you have no software. So once you arrive in the fifth dimension, all of a sudden you have your downloads and then you start getting uh, information, you start understand more, you start uh, get more, you start getting uh, people there around you, they understand you. You start uh, not only acting, but you also are very, very uh, mature of, uh, as far as a uh, human understanding. You can understand the humans and some of the humans they will have problems with you because simply they're wondering how come you handle like so much crap from them and doesn't even bother you simply because the crap it's not theirs it's not us the crap is the one person who give it to you simply if you someone uh, um, offended you in any way well they make themselves stupid in a way simply because they don't understand what they're doing. If they were understand what they were doing, they wouldn't do it in the first place. But uh, guess what? They do it anyway. So you know this. You're like, you know what? Go to God. Let them fix that part. I don't want to deal with you. You, you go someplace else. And that uh, part right there, it's helping you to ascend, you to uh, evolve out of that three-dimensional part. And um, this is when you actually uh, getting to your uh, fifth dimensional like body, and this is where the soul actually is a start acting within the body. And um, uh, that uh, it's happened to a very gentle way on it. So the miraculous world. Dimensional is the next step of the magical world, which is the four dimensions. Uh, the probabilities of this fifth plane are just now presenting themselves to the humanity. So we like to present ourselves to the humanity and open. That is the one part uh, of the 5D people who get in into this place is that uh, they have no fear to be out and open. They have no fear of talking in the front of everybody. And that's why it's that magical power inside that... Uh, uh, if you leave, you feel lost and you feel the pull to come out and open and start talking about something, start doing a thing around something, you get lost because you're hanging out to the fourth dimension and you actually start going into the fifth dimension and you're stuck, you're lost. You cannot believe that you have to leave out and open, you have to talk out and open. You, you're still unstuck in some some parts. Uh, another part that I want to point that out uh, is the sexual part uh, about the fifth dimensions. The fifth dimension you start understanding that uh, there's going to be a partner for you but that partner is going to be giving you from the divine not the partner you choose. So simply in the fourth and the third dimensions uh, a lot of the people they still continue well if I don't like her I can choose somebody else. If I don't like him I can be with somebody else. If I cannot have sex with this, I may have sex with somebody else. And a lot of people, when they're shifting, they have problems of letting it go of these uh, parts. And they get lost. They feel stuck. Uh, they feel part of something doesn't work. It's not going to work. If you completely living in the 5D, and let's say like you, you know who that person is, your love is in the 5D, and it does not respond to the 3D calls anymore. That's it. If you're completed in the 5D, you have to come down to the 3D again and to, to come in to match that vibration so you can understand, you can, you know, kind of like have uh, multiple partners or blah, blah, blah. But if you're in a 5D, that's it. You have to understand some of the parts that you're hanging off of the, the 3D, you have to let it go so you can have your... 5d vibrations going on and a lot of you are lost because he hangs in out to 
to this physical part to have the physical part to own the physical part to control you can control simply because uh, i will continue reading the five uh, the five d part and you will uh, understand uh, more and more um so here is um, go outside on a some clear night look up the sky and catch the glimpse of the stars there are more stars can you imagine with even more planets racing around them and this is only in the third dimensional aspect of what we've seen so you start changing your belief uh, once that comes in into it is that uh, do you expect that it's only us it's only you it's only this town it's only this life matter it's only that part once you get into that position you understand nope it's not only us it's not only me I have to look for the others and that is the part a lot of people start uh, not understanding that you focus for others not for you okay this is not like a three-dimensional world I'm the boss and they're the workers I'm a two separate thing here is like I'm the leader and they're the teammates we all go into work together two different mentalities to different place um, linear or horizontal logic okay so that piece of paper if you turn it it's flat paper you just see it that's it now if you picture dirt it's a big round ball and this is why a lot of the people have this linear logic that tiny mini logic that it's like this does not make them to look at it uh, deep to look underneath the other part is um, from one spirit provide the data from which to act now how you act if you act like a person as a three-dimensional for instance based off uh, what you know you act just because of what you know but if you receive a data that the things are not the way it seems to be how are you gonna be react your spirits gonna be react on different position and here is when you understand i am living in a miraculous world you experience most of the new stuff and what do they are you experience an awesome reality of living in a faith that you are in the hands of your spirit hmm. my soul is in charge you receive everything as okay even if it's something unpleasant because you know that spirit is directing your course how many things you are told you can control this person that person this situation that situation but no the ego has to control that here the soul doesn't you see your identity as divine being unfold yes how many times we told that you have to wait for a certain story to unfold itself to look on that unfolding uh, parts your reliance on the material and the magical perception is suppressed by your reliance of miraculous perceptions now what did that mean somehow you know you have to do a certain things and they're gonna happen just because of it just because they're meant to be and you understand this and you let it go talk about the three things again trust surrender and let go and um, keep in more you realize that in many areas of your life and especially your mission the walls of time space are not limitation what is your limit the ego has a time limit the ego set up deadlines the ego set up must have need the soul says 
I understand. I need experience. I will get this experience when the right time comes, so I will gain the proper understanding. I have no limitations. The soul has no limit of love. Therefore, I will get the right divine time. And this is the part that sometimes of the twin flames, uh, they feel like... Uh, um, when they understand that 100% they have to stop chasing, I will leave my twin flame to the, the hands of God. Let God talk to them. And this is what's the right thing to do. Because right now, you put a limitations of, oh, only I can tell them. They, they only can listen to me. I can tell them to through the fourth dimensional world or to the five dimensional world. No. You... Remove your limitations, it's only you. Now you give to a God. Let God deal, let the universe deal. And then you see that this part of universe, and it's no real limitations anymore. You remove that part. Now you have that freedom inside of you. You live with the understanding that uh, by remaining open and empty, the universe can manifest miracles through you. Here it is, present. And that's why I tried a lot of the people to explain it to them that whatever happened to me ever since I met my twin flame, her, and those lights they came inside of me, I become this part to be open. At my church, uh, they were amazingly surprised how come I'm so open to say this. You have to understand that when you come to a 5D way of life, you are living out in the open. You have no fear into it. And in order you to uh, show up this miracle, the miracle happens inside of you. If you were asked me three years ago, I'm going to be here in the camera telling you this, I will tell you you are full of crap. But since I went through all that stuff of position and changes, now I know you listen to this because you are meant to listen to this video. These exact words, they were meant for you. You love everyone and know that they are part of divine whole. Yep, you love everyone. There could be some exceptions. And now you guys are gonna put me what I mean exceptions. Here's what I mean exceptions is that sometimes you have to give experience uh, from others or to others to understand that uh, they can just go ahead and do whatever they want to do on a five dimensional world. And it's a part of experience the soul to learn. And you will understand this when you live a little bit more in a 5D you will understand that um, some people, when a day comes to a 5D and try to control everything of 5D, they can't control everything of 5D. You're working with the universe together. You're not just doing. You see your vision of heaven and the earth manifesting. You change things in the world. You helping the others to understand this. You somehow see a vision of new art, new manifesting. Uh, miracles are naturally given to you. I have one miracle inside of me. That is a... Um, I don't share it with a lot of people, but um, that is a uh, healing with uh, remote healing uh, with soul vibrations. And I only give it to certain people that uh, I can trust, so they can uh, they trust me. And this is a miracle that I did. Uh, there is someone uh, out there in the world who knows exactly what that is, and that person is all I have to do is just message me. It's like, do I need this? And it's there. I try for other people to help the same way. It doesn't work. Why? Simply because uh, the vibrations there, right there, uh, there is a cap. There is a, they have their own limitations. They're not ready to receive this. So this is like a, uh, somebody tells you, um, like somebody has a very bad cold. 
and uh, they go to um, this uh, Reiki healer master and they say well you know what I need an antibiotic and the Reiki master just sits there and just look at you all <laughs> Uh, first of all, I'm a Reiki master, second of all, I don't prescribe antibiotics. And here is what a lot of people are trying to do, is that uh, they're trying to tell the doctor what they need. And here is again uh, another part of that loss uh, things, because uh, you're asking uh, for help, but you say what kind of help and how to get the help into and that's why a lot of the people out there in the world, they don't get that help. Why? Because they simply still think uh, they have to be under control. Well, if you think that you're a doctor and if you think that you need an antibiotic, well, go study, get a doctor's diploma and prescribe to yourself a antibiotic. But if you need some energy healings, guess what? You should go to the someone who knows how to do Reiki or remote healing and guess what? You just surrender everything, do your work, I just need the healing. And that's why a lot of the people have to let go of the control button and move their hands out of it and then allow the universe and things to do the changes uh, of it. Why a lot of the people, again, still a lot of loss into this? They feel a loss because of uh, fear of uh, letting it go. Letting it go of something. Finances. House. Material things. I'm letting it go because uh, it's, uh, this is the only way I can do this. Uh, oh, but I can have, uh, I love this partner, but I love the other partner too. When you become a twin flame, okay? And when you move to the 5D, you will try to go back to this part to have uh, another. And guess what? It's not going to happen. To some of you, it's not going to happen. The one they are very high up, it's not possible simply because the soul level is too high and when the soul level is too high it does not possess right now the vibrations to open up the chemical reactions for desire of uh, sex with others it's just not happening uh, this is not my statement only uh, I spoke with someone who it's I won't say who that is Okay, but uh, four years, no feeling the right thing. Uh, the other person I was talking to, it's for five years. So can you imagine you to not have a sex for five years or three years here? Okay, and that's what uh, happens to a lot of people when we, we try to do things, but they don't work the same way. Simply when you become so much in, in, in awakening, in the high power on it, you understand that uh, some things, you let it go for the right reason. Some things you learn to surrender for the right reason. And you learn to trust your soul for very specific reasons. Now, when you understand who is the one, that's it, you're done. When you know who is the one, that's it, you're done. It is the one. Now, how is the ones going to act? They're probably stuck on somewhere. The three-dimensional, the four-dimensional uh, being, they may be stuck on a, if it's a male, they probably is going to be trying to figure out what's wrong with them. Uh, the insecurity of money or insecurity of material world or all of a sudden they don't perform very well in bed and they're like let me look at a little bit good stuff on the internet and figure out well nothing's going on or if it's female it's like oh my gosh i need to look at it for another partner they're looking for another partner and nothing happens there is no trigger you can sit down and talk with a attractive male 
There is nothing going on. And 10 is like, Dio, what's wrong? Why I feel lost? Why we can't do it? Well, here is what it said at the fifth dimension. Okay? You experienced the awesome reality of living in the faith that you are in the hands of your spirit, of your soul. Now, your soul knows what's the right thing. You can't sin anymore. Everybody's talking about don't look another woman, don't steal, don't lie, don't do. And when they get into this level that they really can't, guess what? Tends to understand what the part is. And when you arrive to the 5D, you understand that. And a lot of the people, they try to go back to the 3D. You're a 5D human being. You're trying to leave, uh, let's say like you become an angel or try to live in the hell. They're not going to like you in hell. Mm -mm. Nope. They're really not going to like you. And that's why a lot of the people out there, they probably don't like you uh, because you're too much light or too much good or too much uh, uh, understanding. You have too much something what they want. They want it so bad, and you have it just like this. Oh. They don't know how much it took you you to become this person. They don't understand how much pain you went through it. The pain of change. A lot of the people, they don't change. They don't willing to change. And when those changes are happening, and if you are with living with a person who goes through changes, give them on time and space to do it. They may try to figure out something. They might try to figure out this and that. All of a sudden, somebody goes and it's like, I want to get a book of spells. I want to try magic. Sure, you're in the four dimensions. Go ahead, knock yourself out. Learn how it is. Uh, or uh, I want to try uh, tarot readings. Sure, go ahead. You're in the four dimension. Go ahead, try it out. See, to understand that when you do a tarot reading, you ask permission from the person. You ask permission from the spirits. And then you do tarot readings, which is in the 5D. Well, that is a different story, right? So here is the part again that uh, if you're feeling lost, uh, I will suggest you to go ahead and read those uh, this article about the, the dimension. See everything that... Uh, it's been done it. I don't want to keep repeating the same things over and over and over and over again. But uh, I hope with this video, you know, some of the things will get clear out. And you will finally figure it out that uh, you are not lost. You just uh, somewhere in the ladder of Jacob going upstairs, downstairs, upstairs, downstairs to see where you are and what you do. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you had a little fun. I hope your understanding uh, keeps coming up more and more and more. Because the more understanding you, you gain, the better it will be. Okay? Be loved.